life hacks, life hacks. technology, business, multimedia, wellness and health, events, reviews, and more. This is Mary Collins from Life Hacks Media, and I have the pleasure to have Tyler Clark back online with us today. Hi, hi, Tyler. How are you doing? Hi, Mary. I'm doing really well. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's wonderful to have you. And just for people who are listening um, and haven't any knowledge of who I'm talking to, Tyler happened to have been on the show uh, SAS Who Dares Wins in Britain, which is like a paratrooper. Is it paratrooper? It's um. A military show where only the very best, finest athletes can compete in order to be to take part in this training, and it's grueling training. And I definitely it'll be on our life hacks link so people can check it out and check what she's gone through in the past. And now Tyler has her own uh, fitness health regime that she does online and also as personal trainer. So tell us a little bit more about that. Let's just update people again, Tyler. Yeah, so with Christmas beginning to get closer, um, the winter months are now here over in Britain. It gets it gets very cold, um, and motivation can seem to drop. And it's my job as a personal trainer and an online coach to help keep people motivated, keep the drive going that health and fitness is still important even mm-hmm. in winter, as much as it is in summer. Um, it's really beneficial actually for your immune system around this time to keep some form of exercise um, keep your nutrition on point and do the best for your own health around this time um, mm-hmm. so I've actually just launched a coaching program which is an eight week kind of Christmas special I'm very mm-hmm. excited about it and it's it's to help people stay motivated around this time so that they can look good around the festive season feel feel good and yeah yeah, that's exactly Mm -hmm. it feel good about themselves and and actually what what they're achieving and working towards I'm very excited about that um and just really to help people stay on track around this time it you know you can have some indulgences you can still enjoy yourself and still Mm -hmm. be healthy and work towards goals and it's just my my role is to to help you support and, and achieve that Right. And what people need to know also about Tyler is Tyler is a mom. She has gone from, you know, I think for your words are on your on your blog are like from like a couch potato who ate takeouts all the time to being a bodybuilder. I mean, and being on this show about surviving the military, the most elite military in the UK. So um, that's important because you've been there. You, you can actually say what it's like, first of all, to be exhausted because you have children. And secondly, to kind of go from one extreme to another. So tell us how you kind of motivated yourself in the first place. Absolutely. I was in such a bad place, both physically and mentally. Um, And this was going back six years ago to the point where I was sent for diabetes tests because my health was that bad. Um, Mm. I had went up to 16 stone and I really needed to make a change for my own health, but also because I needed to be a good role model for the children. And that was really important for me. I was showing them the way that I didn't really want them to be brought up to be living on fast food and not mm-hmm. putting good nutrition into them. Um, mm-hmm. But I made some radical changes. Mm-hmm. But what I wasn't expecting actually at that time was the improvement in my mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, just from going to the gym and making some simple changes to my nutrition. And it, I mean, it wasn't a huge change. The only thing I seemed to do was begin by cutting out some processed food Mm -hmm. and started cooking from scratch and it can be difficult yes if you're on your own with children um, and you don't have much support Mm -hmm. but that's not to say that it isn't doable I actually found it easy once I got into a new routine Mm -hmm. as soon as you you start that it's like right hold on this isn't that difficult I can batch cook I can put something in the slow cooker so that it's ready for when I get in from work Mm -hmm. and then actually put it in the the fridge and and use the next day and it's it's easy once you get into that routine and that structure the hardest step I would say is just taking that first step but once you begin to make momentum and most importantly begin seeing improvements then it gets easier and easier. 
Right. And speaking of which, you also have a podcast that I was listening to just the other day and loving it to bits because you have two other speakers on it. And, you know, you really do cover everything from the different kinds of food diets and, and things that people eat. And like you are saying yourself, like now that you're bodybuilding and you've reached the weight that you want, you're eating like crispy, uh, what is it? Rice crispy treats. And, and I was like, oh, what? What a luxury, you know, because your body is in such great shape and control that you can have these extra caloric things that don't do any harm for you. And then at the same time, you, you all were talking about people who suffer from different things, like you said, their diabetes and stuff, that there are ways to control this. So I assume that on your courses, you actually help people individually work through what their dietary needs are and then physically what they need as well, right? Absolutely. And that's why <clears throat> I don't give too much advice as a, a broad speak because each person is so unique. Mm -hmm. um, there is no cookie cutter plan, um, which is why mm -hmm. I tailor each nutrition and train and plan to each individual because everybody has different psychology, different nutritional needs um, mm -hmm. and different mobility needs as well. And that's why each plan has to be so specific to each individual. Right. And, and you'd mentioned something about even doing crunches that you you're not or you're not doing full. Is it squats? It was squats. Yeah. I yeah. hate squats. They're like the worst thing in the world. But, you know, depending on the person, you said even to do with body proportion, um, the, if you don't have the right body, proportion, you're very tall so yeah. that it affected you in a way that it hurts you more than it helped you when you did these squats. So you found a way to do them while sitting down. I mean, this is all, this is all sort of marvelous advice. And so for Christmas, give us some of your top hacks and then tell us a little bit more about your program yeah so for some tips for christmas i would try not to give in too much to the comfort zone i've noticed on telly and social media um already we see an increased levels of comfort food mm. and everything's topped in cinnamon and cream cozy covers are out cozy jammers and that's not to say that it's a great time to cuddle up and, and chill out on the sofa on a night time but please remember to stay active um mm -hmm. we have 24 hours in the day and I always like to think that I've achieved at least one good thing that day whether that be hitting my daily step target which for me is currently at 10,000. Um, for, for many, you know, if you're doing maybe 3,000 daily steps, try pushing that to maybe 5,000. Mm -hmm. Try and just push your, yourself, push your fitness levels a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and, and try not to overindulge. We like to have some extra food and things over Christmas. Um, mm -hmm. I do myself and I'll be having a, a Christmas dinner and plenty of buffy food. Mm -hmm. But it's just not going over the top and, and maybe turning that into a, a two or three week binge which then when right. it comes to the new year you might be filled with regret mm -hmm. um from that food and, and that actually builds an unhe unhealthy relationship with food which is what we don't want um mm -hmm. so yes have some some sweet treats and some nice food with socializing and family um but just don't go overboard with it once you feel that level of right okay i'm i'm, I'm actually full now mm -hmm. then, then that's enough um right. and, then you and like you said Sorry. And like you said, with the cinnamon, I mean, you can have cinnamon even with some whipped cream, I think. And whipped cream is like very low in calories and gives you that little bit of sweet or like Philadelphia cream cheese with, um, I don't know, cinnamon and it not cinnamon. There's something you can do to sweeten it that doesn't taste. It makes it taste like cheesecake. There are so many different ways, aren't there, that you can still have something sweet or savory without, you know, cinnamon on top of pudding on top of ice cream on top of chocolate cake <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> this is officially the over the overboard so um for people that want to train you are doing uh different courses throughout the year that are online as well as um in person tell us a bit more about how a person can sign up to your online classes yeah so the beauty of online coaching is that i can actually help anyone across the world and, and that's why I took the decision to move online um, because so many people were reaching out and I was like how how can I find a way to help all of these people while I'm here in the UK um, which then come down to online coaching um, all information can be found on my Instagram um, which is Tyler Clark underscore coaching um, or I do also have a website as well which is tylerclarkcoaching.co.uk um, I have contact details on there and I'll always reply as soon as possible um, to any right. inquiries that's made. 
Perfect. And of course, we will have your information on lifehacks.com. Tyler has been kind enough to blog on Lifehacks as well. And hopefully we'll have more of her streaming with her her coaching and her her kind of uh, the, her team blog. What's the name of that that group that you you actually have everything together again? What's the GQ? Yeah, What's the name? So, um, me and two coaches all from different backgrounds have came together to bring a uniqueness together where we cover mindset, health um, and fitness all in one. And it's the Mind Muscle HQ, which is available on Spotify, Apple Music and YouTube. And it's wow. also on my Instagram page as well. Excellent. Mind, what is it again? Mind Coaching? It's Mind Muscle HQ. Mind Muscle HQ. Cool. That is awesome. Tyler, it's been a pleasure. Happy holidays. Let's hope we can be fit mentally, physically, and emotionally this Christmas. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. And Lifehacks will be taking a short holiday break. However, we will have a special reading of C.S. Lewis's The Screwtape Diaries on our lifehacks.com website. It will be read by a group of narrators from across the world, and it's a lot of fun, so stay tuned. We will be back in the new year. And Lifehacks and its team wish you a very peaceful, tranquil holiday and a prosperous new year. Thanks for listening. Lifehacks.com. Life That's with a K and an X on Radio X.